And while I was going in route, we were shelled very heavily. We knew that we have entered the war zone of Kargil. This happened for the first time in the history of warfare. That one commander writes citation for two for his own soldier. Grenadier Yugendra Yadav gets Paramvir Chakra and the enemy gets a Nishane Hadar. The, both the highest awards. The Kargil conflict fought between 3rd May 1999 to 26 July 1999 was forced upon India by the then Pakistan Army Chief General Parvez Musharraf. Treachery is what Pakistan did when it went back on an agreement of vacating positions along the LOC in the Kargil sector during winters. Pakistani troops, disguised as terrorists, occupied positions on the Indian side of the LOC, which serves as a de facto border between Kashmir and Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. India lost over 500 soldiers, most of whom were youngsters, including officers who fought bravely to capture back the heights. While Pakistan lost about 4,000 soldiers, the fact is that the enemy soldiers also fought bravely. Over the next course of few minutes, we will talk about one such unique story. The story of Captain Karnal Sher Khan, who was killed on July 6 at Tiger Hill. He was awarded Pakistan's highest gallantry award, the Nishane Haider. But he received this award in 2010, over a decade after the conflict. And this honor to Captain Khan was made possible by an Indian Army officer. That is right, Brigadier MPS Bajwa, who was then commanding the 192 Mountain Brigade. Toroling was the first 156 Brigade. They were, they went into and a third three Mountain Divisions, 121 Brigade, one to one Independent Brigade responsibility was this. Once the things started going out of hand, 8th Mountain Day was called in and 56th Brigade, which was located there near Baltal at Gandharbal, was called in on 15th of May. And subsequently, they went in and they cleared with various units were inducted. Two Raj Reef, 18 Gadwar Rifles, 13 Jack Reef for my unit man. My turn of Brigade Headquarter when Tolling was taken, major peaks, the last operation of Tolling went in on 2nd of July, but 29th or 30th June was the major operation of Tolling. I made up my plan that our attack on this plan was earlier there, to attack on 3rd, 4th July, night of 3rd, 4th. I started putting them up um, in penny packets, these companies, so that they go and hide in the folds because after all, the Tiger Hill top or Tiger Hill itself was at the height of 16,700 and we had to move from the roadhead. Before 45 minutes, the fire opened up, utterly fire, and direct firing, uh, the guns, both guns, started firing. There's a multi barrel rocket launcher with uh, 40 guns, uh, rockets going at the same time, were there. Well, it had started drizzling, to my good luck. We were fortunate because with this a little foggy area, the troops could get cover. But at the same time, slightly became difficult because they had started slipping down because of the rocky features. GOC left the operation room thinking that probably let them go wherever they can. And he asked me, he says, okay, Bash, let me know in the morning about the battle progress. By 4 o'clock, I got the news, good news, that we had captured the Tiger Hill top. This was the, one of the best news of my life. Well, Balwan had done a job. Howdar Madan Lal had fought very well. He had killed six, destroyed three bunkers. He got martyred there. And I asked the commanding officer, gave him Shabash and asked him to push us 
चार्ली कंपनी और डेल्टा कंपनी एक्चुअली विच वॉज जस्ट नियर बाय टू जस्ट टू कुक ऑन टॉप इन द मेन टाइम एज आई हैड कैप दिस सीक्रेट ऑफ एट सिख आई न्यू नाउ द काउंटर अटैक विल कम फ्रॉम द साउथ वेस्ट रिज लाइन और मे बी री एनफोर्समेंट्स नाउ आई ऑर्डर्ड इशूड अकोड वर्ड बाज एंड ऑर्डर्ड दोज फिफ्टी टू मैन ऑफ एट सिख टू गो ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम we intentionally moved them during day time of 4th july towards the grenadier side so that enemy gets a impression that they are falling with the grenadier's route but moment they lied on and uh, by evening they came the other side and started climbing went on on 5th morning early morning they captured two pickets called india gate and helmet now they interposed between the top and the rocky knob on the southwestern side which was their uh, company headquarters which we learned later and they cut them off and surely now grenadiers had no time to uh, check it now by the time next 6 morning no wonder once it it was known to general musharraf of the enemy side he did order which we learned later of turner nai which was there in the adjoining feature with the ssg special service group like our para commandos or sf troops come what may i want tiger hill back was his instructions and for that the person and the officers who were tasked was one major ikbal from the special service group that is ssg and another officer young officer by the name of captain later we learned his name captain kanal sher khan of 12 and alive we also learned later that there was another officer from the commandos who was later given some award there but we recovered these two bodies of those officers captain khan had led three waves of attacks on indian soldiers who had captured tiger hill the highest peak in the dras kagil sector which overlooks national highway 1d a road that connects srinagar to kargil and is the main supply route of the kargil sector this was a story of a brave man being sacrificed for a uh, whimsical planning poor planning of of senior officers see from the word go uh, kargil operation from the pakistani army side had issues uh it was very difficult to keep feeding and keep the line of communication intact you know that was the real game how do you keep supplying your men who were fighting at the top and uh sher khan you know the the whole operation is that there is indian army men who are coming uh, you know who are who are who are climbing up uh, they're exchanging fire uh, sher khan keeps asking uh, you know uh, you know for for greater supply of ammunition he keeps fighting his men keep fighting until they run out of ammunition uh, all his men are shot shot dead he's the only one surviving and after he realizes and he keeps radioing about you know send me supplies send me supplies when he finally runs out of it and he is not a single bullet left he starts spelting stones at the indian army uh, men who were who were climbing up and who was catching uh, you know who were catching up on him and i think it's a brave feat i mean till the last he could have surrendered he could have surrendered like i would say general niazi did in 1971 yeah one could argue that you know general niazi uh even if you know uh if you don't look at his surrender as an act of weakness but that you know um uh, there was wasn't much option left there would have been greater bloodshed etc but i think it's important to realize that sher khan was definitely a much solid and a brave man uh he fought till his last breath uh he was so brave that even the enemy side recognized it captain sher khan and his men had managed to kill 
three of the four JCOs, that is junior commissioned officers of the 18 Grenadiers who had captured the Tiger Hill. Brigadier Bachwa spoke to the forwardmost soldier Sipoy Satpal Singh and came to know that Captain Khan, who was leading the attack, was time and again motivating the remaining troops to press on. He realized that it was important to take down the Pakistani officer. And so, directions were issued. Initial, our you know, which are the, the troops which were there in helmet, they came and attacked. The attack was repulsed. Second time, well determined attack came, which was also repulsed. The third time, it was now led by a young officer, later identified as Captain Kanal Shir Khan of Dunan Nai. He led the attack and he would motivate them, bring them, inspire them time game and kept fighting in the bargain in the helmet right in the perimeter i lost two jcos my officer was very seriously wounded we had to call him back to india gate so that they fight a battle now at india gate the stage came when it was almost hand to hand battle and every time since i was controlling as a commander i had taken permission from the commanding officer of eight sikh he not being well that let me speak directly, since I could speak in the language also, directly to the. So I asked Nirmal Singh Saab, Saab, Sade do JSU chalege, a attack kisi trike bhi fail hona. He said, Kesa, there is one of either maybe a tap putting on track suit, a young of, uh, person who motivates them, again brings them, inspires them, and he's the one who's leading them time and again. This is the third time he's brought them. I say he must be an officer because others were putting on kala kurta pajama, black, and he was on in track suit. I say he should be killed. Ultimately, we ordered Satpal, who was sitting on the perimeter, wounded twice, very badly wounded. He got up with his fixed his bennet also on this, his insas, killed three, and shot this young officer, Captain Kanal Shir Khan, for five yards. Moment he was killed, he fell down. The attack, all other enemy in their enemy. It was a bloody battle, it was a very interesting. So in that battle I had lost three JCs out of four. Both the officers were wounded. We at a stage we had both the officers wounded. They were 14 dead, uh, martyred. There were two officers both wounded and there are about 18 persons who are lying wounded. 39 casualties out of those 46 and 52, the men which were sent. It was almost like a battle of Saragadi were repeated. But the day was kept and the moment they started shouting, I got a news. My sparrow, my signal officer, we call him sparrow, came. He said, sir, now the enemy can hear us on the radio. It's open. Should we enforce and take some preventive measures? I said, Baljeet, no. Pass a message now, since the enemy can hear that our paras are landing up there. Mind you, gentlemen, at times we have to, everything is fair in love and war. We have to do some deceptive measures. Moment I passed this message was passed, the para started, the enemy from the top also started running away learning that paras are learning or, or SF people are learning. And by 6th, the Tiger Hill, we hoisted the flag, Tiranga, on top of Tiger Hill. And with this, the battle of the Tiger Hill was thus won. India buried 30 enemy dead. Before dispatching the body to Delhi, he informed his general officer commanding of Khan's bravery and expressed the desire to write down a small letter of appreciation and citation that Captain Khan had fought very bravely and must be given his due recognition. A piece of paper with a handwritten citation of four sentences was placed in his pocket. Initially, Pakistan refused to take his body, saying that their soldiers had never fought, but later the body was accepted. 
all the time i was this was playing into my mind that while our wounded were being evacuated that maybe he was an officer but he fought very bravely that young boy who was who was leading the enemy attack i ordered i said i want his body to be brought down well our wounded also being was we brought down by the pioneers by our own troops i hired the civilian porters I gave them very clear instruction to major pamar who was the commander there that i want his body to be respectfully brought down in a on a stretcher well there were so many ifs and buts but i got his body down i informed the goc took a special permission from him that i would like to send his body back to pakistan through delhi he said why are you insisting on this well i had something else in mind but i told him i said sir this will give a proof that jalam sharif is saying that only mujahideens are fighting in black kurta pajama but here it is with the documents and all we'll try to prove this the regular army is fighting well on this i think so play he yeah, agreed i got his body down laid with the rest in the brigade headquarters in the my front of my bunker we got search his pockets we learnt his name was captain karnal sheer khan initially we got little confused that why karnal sheer khan he was captain of course from his letters and all from his uh, begum and from his father jalan it was clear that he was captain karnal sheer khan of 12th line while preparing the documents it was what was playing in my mind was to appreciate his bravery i took out a piece of paper and a pen and wrote four lines only in my hand i wrote captain kanal sher khan of 12th nai has fought very bravely and he must be given his due recognition i at that time i never knew these four lines or this small paper which i put in his pocket will be ever read by anyone ever seen by anyone but this was for my heart i had appreciated well the body was sent along with the documents no wonders it wasn't it was refused by pakistan kept on lying there it was later i'm told that after about 10 15 days two red cross when they insisted insisted the body was handed over and luckily that those four lines were seen that chit was seen by someone and ultimately musharraf was precious that the people those who are given their life they are given for their nation not they are not they can't be say they, they are not fighting force about his bravery i was very happy to know later that he was awarded nishane haider this is the highest award like we have parambir chakra just imagine in the one battle is happened for the first time in the history of warfare that one commander writes citation for two for his own soldier grenadier yogendra yadav gets parambir chakra and the enemy gets a nishane haider and this is one of the many such stories of the kargil conflict that shows what a soldier's character is all about This is Suchet Veer Singh along with Sajid Ali and Snehal Alex Philip signing off. <laughs> <laughs>